Hello YouTube, this is Agonizer from uh, World of Tanks Depot, and today, uh, this is my new episode of The Depot. I've not been uploading videos lately, been really busy with school and clan wars for EGO. If you guys are new to the series, um, it's, this is a series where I review tanks, tell you a little bit about them, and read the history that they have on the uh, game. So, I've had this tank for a while now, I do have a 100% cruise from retraining, um, I have 6 cents and all the other 100% skills trained. I am on my second skill set. Uh, this tank is a really nice German heavy tank. Comes at tier 8 going toward the E100. Now some of the physical characteristics of it. It does have a, really a lot of weak spots. Especially in the turret. This is one of those tanks you don't want to take on head on. For the uh, 185 turret and 150 hull armor. The sides and the rear are both at 80, but the side of the turret is mostly where your ammo is going to be located. So you want to look out there. It will do 240 to 400 damage. The average, though, is 320. The average pen is 225 from the 169 and 81. Now, loaded on this tank, I have three consumables here. They're easy to tell what they are, and a gun rammer. This tank can usually take a pretty good bit of hits at 1600 hit points. Um... Not the best as you want to look at it. Though. So, we're going to read the history here. It's also known as the King or Royal Tiger, produced from January 1944 through March 1945, with a total of 489 vehicles built. This is usually the tank you see in those World War II first person shooter games. Uh, the tank that you always can never kill, or you have to have a rocket launcher to do. So, it can get pretty interesting. Alright, guys, so we're going to get and start the game here. Hopefully not as long as the queue as I've been waiting. Now, the matchmaking on this tank actually is decent. It's usually never as bad as what we are right now. But, you never know. So, let's just see here. We have uh, decent matchmaking. I'm not below the RD, so I know I'm in a decent game. Um, but, you know, it can always be worse. Now... Uh, as you guys have known, I've been having my channel up for a while now. I only have six subs, and that's probably who's watching this video right now. So, uh, get my channel out there if you can. Uh, I will be making another video, sort of like the Battle, battle of Malinava, uh, featured below, hopefully. And if I can do that, I also need tankers and uh, crew for that for recording and or script writing. Uh, there's really not voices, but there will be... Uh, such things as um, choreographing the movements of tanks to even telling uh, how the battle will turn out. Now, what the battle is going to be about, though, is the Battle of Brother in Arms, how to get the Brothers in Arms medal. It's a dramatic reenactment of that and everything in that area. So let's put it this way, guys. I do have lag right now, and I don't like it. Uh, especially because I'm recording a YouTube video and it's not going to help me much. Uh, I'll show you how good the tank really is. So, I might do horrible in this game, but just to show you how the tank is. I love the tank. Uh, on a rating of 1 to 10, I'm giving it a 7, actually. Uh, not as great as you need it to be. And let's see here. Happy I'm not shooting gold rounds. Alright, so as you see, I did the 343 damage there. Pop back out here. Now, you can see I am wasting ammo sparingly with the short reload time, but ammo does cost a lot with this tank, so I try not to waste it as much. And I just got spotted again here by the M103. Ah, the Jack Panzer E100, those things are huge. Alright guys, this is the part of the battle where the Tiger II is not recommended to be here. And you're supposed to fall back just a little bit to where you can come around. This is a flanking tank, so hopefully I can use it as one. If there was an IS-8 behind me. Alright, so this is a sniper heavy tank on a surprise take on this guy front armor 
and I'll give him a track. It is a really good tracking tank, just to let you guys know, and he had a repair kit. But it's a great tracking tank. Can be used to track pretty much anything other than the E100, which I can never even see the damage. Alright, yeah, I did play that sort of stupid there, guys, uh, trying to kill the T-54. But, I, and, uh, I enjoy showing you guys these videos and what the tanks can do, even in a short amount of time, with me doing about six, 700 damage. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. This is Agonizer from World of Tanks Depot. Uh, have a nice day.